Hi. Today we are going to discuss how to upload consumer data to Sybil. So basically, uh, there are some uh, tag segments which we have to follow. Like for um, for this particular file, first there should be an ID segment. Mm, sorry, first there should be a header segment, then the name segment, ID segment, telephone segment, email segment, address segment, account segment, account history segment, end of each record, and the TRLR in the sense closing the file. So let us see it detail. So what we have done is that we have uh, we have created two three sheets. Don't do anything on this data sheet. You have to enter data in the input sheet and the parameter sheet. In the parameter sheet you have to fill the data uh, up to this portion. For Sybil, you have to write the member code Sybil here. Griff, you have to say, type the Griff details here, Equifax and Experian, and you have to change the option from here. If you select Sybil automatically, these details will be changed automatically. And don't do anything up to this uh, part, okay? And now come to the uh, input sheet. In the in input sheet, we have to start with the name segment. So first we have to type the, so also I wish to tell you that you don't delete this column. You can overwrite this column. Suppose here we have Supi, Rachu, data so there are like thousand data is there so you have to just copy and paste on this third row onwards don't cut this folder and paste it here then uh, the entire formula will be changed only copy the data to this third row because uh, otherwise it is very difficult to um, change the entire I mean, coding, there is a lot of coding required for uh, cut paste this row. Okay. So this is. So let us start. Here, um, this is the consumer segment. In the consumer segment, we can't type a single name. My name is Subi. So we can't type it as single name as Subi here. And keep all these uh, two fields as blank. Then uh, this data will be rejected. What happening? Because uh, uh, Sybil won't accept data as a single name. There should be a, a surname. Surname should not be a single letter. It should be some data over there. Consumer segment three, suppose uh, my name is Subi Patukulam Gobi, then you should Type should be here, to belong here, go P here, like that. Otherwise, you can type should be what to belong and go P here, and you can keep this field as blank. So, this thing you remember. After that, a date of birth you should mention as DDMM, DD hyphen, MM hyphen, YYYYY format. I will convert automatically to the uh, without hyphen format. This is the gender. Gender frame means one for a female, two for male. So, and the income tax number, passport number, any one field is required over here. Voter ID, uh, driving license number, ration card number, uh, what is this? Uh, Aadhaar number, CKVC number, if it's there, you can write the CKVC number. So up to this is the name segment. Sorry, up to uh, this is the name segment. After that, is this is the ID segment. Okay, after ID segment, this is the telephone segment. In the telephone segment, this mobile number is compulsory. Otherwise, they won't accept the data. After that, this is a contact segment, but this is not a compulsory field. 
so we can keep it as blank uh, as well now the address segment address segment uh, address segment also i forgot to tell you this field you now you can't add uh, more than 26 characters on these fields so the maximum size should be 26 on this particular all these three field you just remember after that when we come to the address segment here address one this should be the maximum character is 40 more than 40 you can add it address one address two address three all three should be 40 address in the sense you, you have to write the code which you know very well so for mm, okay uh, that you can uh, refer the details if you if required any help we will discuss it later then the pin code address category that is uh, what type of uh, address that means he is living in rental or uh, his own own building that is the code here so after that these are not the compulsory fields i am just to keep it as blank now the what we called uh, t yeah tl segment that means the account segment let us see how to fill it this starting from the uh, our uh, thing what we called the member member code we have to write and the short name these things you know very well after that we have to mention the loan account number loan type what type of loan it is the ownership indicator in ownership indicator in the sense that there are two type of uh, indicator will come over there if uh, uh, guarantor should be there either guarantor or the borrower so that code you have to mention this is the date opened or disbursement date date of last payment when you have received the last payment of this customer date closed if the loan is closed you should mention the closer to let, uh, date here this is the date reporting so here uh, i forgot to tell you here i have to write the reporting date if it's for the 31st uh, sorry if it's for the may month you should write 3105 2024 this should be 3105 2024 this is high credit sanction amount in the sense the loan amount suppose it's one lakh you should mention one lakh here this is the current balance how much is the current balance if it's 50000 you should mention 50000 current balance normally we write the principal balance this is the amount overdue if there is an amount overdue you should mention this otherwise keep it as blank so keep it as zero not blank this is the number of past day due dpd if you have the data you can write it otherwise keep it as zero uh, these are not uh, compulsory fields now we come to the uh, asset classification mm. asset cl classification the sense of zero 01 is means in, uh, zero 01 means the healthy account value of collateral in case of any collateral you have collected and what is the value of that collateral you can keep it as blank as well type of coll collateral uh, this data you can al uh, already get it in the uh, notepad that's why sorry in the pdf that i attached that's why i'm not in detail mentioned here the type of collateral that means the zero one what type of collateral it is credit uh, credit limit these are not the compulsory fields if you have especially for asset finance companies you should write those data rate of interest what's the rate of interest charge for this particular loan repayment return or if it's for one year you can mention it as 12 uh, it should be in months this is the emi amount this is the return of amount if if any value return of for the particular amount you can write that otherwise you keep it as zero okay this is the payment frequency payment frequency in the sense if it's monthly quarterly like that you should mention actual payment uh, amount these are not the compulsory field so i'm just uh, leaving it this is the monthly annual indicator like that these are the codes you have to write but not the compulsory field but up to up to 
this green I have mentioned, those are compulsory fields, okay? So we have uh, created one record. I am just adding one more for the for time being. This should be one. This should be two. So I created three fields uh, over here. And don't do anything in these sheets, OK? Now we have three record and wish to generate the P, uh, notepad. So here we selected Sibyl. Right now we are uploading data to Sibyl. And uh, in this folder, let us see. There's a macro here, D macro run. So how much is the total records? Three, right? So we have to write it three. Click on OK. So this notepad is generated. Uh, if you remove the address, let us see. So as per the uh, details they have given accordingly, we have generated the data. We just upload it, OK? Uh, th this way, we can generate the file. Uh, in case you want to discuss further, you can write to me. My email ID is so bvg at the rate gmail.com or WhatsApp 944-687-3229. Okay.